So welcome to the podcast of the Center of Translation Medicine of the Semmelweis University. My guest today is uh, Andras Mihai Gezi. Uh, you are a gynecologist, am I right? Yes, you are, and thank you for the invitation. I'm glad to uh, speak with you today. Um, first of all, uh, let me ask you, why did you choose medicine when you graduated the high school? Well, that's an, that's an interesting story because, to be honest, originally I, I didn't want it to be a doctor. So I wanted, be, I wanted to be a poet. I liked, uh, I liked poetry, I liked novels, I liked to write them, read them, really something like that. But uh, I always had some uh, affinity to people, to be honest. I wanted to work always with people mm -hmm. and uh, to be, to be uh, part of this something uh, uh, to, to help people, to be honest. And so, actually, my, my father came up with the idea that uh, it would be the best to become a doctor. And first of all, I wanted to be a psychiatrist in my first few years. And then I realized it's not for me. I really respect the people who can get through that every, every day, every day, day to day. Uh, but for me, it was, it was too hard for my soul, to be honest. And then uh, I realized that what I wanted to work with is, is a family. Mm -hmm. And the best way to work with the family, in my opinion, is to be a gynecologist because you can be a part of the of the uh, uh, whole uh, moment when the family is uh, uh, born. Born, exactly, yeah. exactly. So yeah, and I and I think uh, that was a good decision. So six years into this into this uh, 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 specialty, I can say that uh, I really love it, and every day it's it's a big thing you can bring home. Uh, but were you interested in biology and chemistry in high school? Uh, yeah, in, in biology, in, in biology I was, to be uh, honest, uh -huh. because I had, a, I had a wonderful teacher in, mm -hmm. in high school. And how, he, how she interpreted everything in, in biology, was it was really interesting. And, and you caught interest in it very easily. So, yes, yes, uh, I think that was the first kick in high school mm -hmm. where I really started, started to think about that. I didn't know anything about life. I, I wanted anything about, about uh, uh, the human being at all, how it works, everything, how it works. And uh, it was a great, great step forward. Uh, gave, 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 she gave, gave a great step forward uh, with this uh, 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 kind of way she was teaching. Okay. But to be a gynecologist means that you are practicing medicine. Of course. But what you are doing here is a bit more science. How did you uh, choose to, to uh, join the Center of Translation I, Medicine? Yeah, first of all, of course, I wanted to have a PhD, as anyone yeah. has. On the other hand, I think uh, there was a difference between uh, research and between... Uh, uh, there was a big difference between research and practicing medicine. When we are practicing medicine, we are just... Uh, uh, reproducing something. We already learned, but we are not really in the, in the pinnacle of development on this, in this specialty, mm -hmm. for example. And I really wanted to, to be in that. Uh, how can I say that? To, to create something new, mm -hmm. uh, to be part of creating something new. And I think the translation medicine, the whole program is a very good uh, opportunity to do so because you're not alone. You're in a, in a, in a society, in a group. You can, you can be together. You can help each other. And I think, uh, it is a great opportunity for us. In the Southern Mass University. We like teamwork. Uh, I think, the, uh, especially in medicine, I think mm -hmm. the only way it works well is teamwork, naturally. Another issue uh, here at the center is that uh, uh, the, the students are learning by doing. What does it mean for you, learning by doing? Learning by doing everything. Uh, in my opinion, if you are uh, if you are practicing in a specialty like gynecology, where you have a, uh, uh, a lot of, uh, you have to achieve a lot of manual skills, then you have to learn it by doing. So there is no other way. There is no other way around. You have to do it every day. Sometimes you fail, of course, but you have to do it again and again and again until you are perfected it or at least close to perfection, in my opinion. And what are your projects you are working on? Well, my project is a bit interesting, to be honest, and uh, uh, a bit of a, uh, White Raven in this in this group, I think, because it is about uh, a cosmetic gynecology, which doesn't sound so scientific, and I approve it. Yes, of course, it's it's very different than the other project, but it's very important too, because uh, especially in uh, how can I say it? it's not that good to say more developed countries, but to the West, especially in the United States, it's a whole industry. It's it, it's really skyrocketed the demand for these kind of operations uh, skyrocketed in the last few years, last decades. And uh, in Hungary, um, how can I say that it's, it's not really uh, uh, well known in the in the in the public that these kind of operations are available. 
and they are not teached by anyone and they're, 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 there's, there is there is no no handbook there is no no guideline nothing about it mm-hmm. in hungary to be honest uh, on the other side many women are are suffering because of these uh, uh, alterations of the auto female genitalia and the uh, solution is very easy and uh, in my opinion Well, my goal is, on uh, one hand, of course, to finish PhD and, of course, to write the papers. On the other hand, to to start something in Hungary in this in this field, because uh, I think we are we are way behind uh, uh, from other countries, especially from uh, uh, the United States or United Kingdom or even even Switzerland. In my opinion. But if you are uh, speaking about beauty, it's very subjective. Science should be objective. How could you? Of course, you're, you're, you're perfect, right? Of, you're perfect, right? So, so every every operation like this should be tailored at the patient's mm-hmm. needs. On the other hand, we are not only talking about uh, beauty. So, in this case, we are talking about functionality too, oh. because these alterations, these these uh, abnormalities, we can say, are are uh, uh, having having uh, are having a great impact in sexual life of them mm-hmm. every day, uh, or even when they are doing sports or uh, or even everyday things, or wearing uh, uh, some uh, some kind of uh, uh, underwear or some kind of uh, clothes. So. Uh, this has uh, even impact on the everyday life of women, not just their self-esteem or their uh, self-image, really their everyday life. So, of course, it's about beauty on the first hand, but with functionality too, in my opinion. And what is your what is the focus of your research? What what are you studying exactly? What are the outcomes? Well, uh, in, in my first research, we are uh, uh, comparing uh, these. Uh, uh, so-called uh, the ports of female genital beautification concept. These are different kind of operations which uh, affect the outer genitalia. And we are comparing them each other to find out maybe uh, if there is some benefit to one, one to the other, mm-hmm. maybe. And uh, with my second project, we want to uh, uh, find out which is the best way to do augmentation uh, before childbirth or in family planning, mm-hmm. because it might have impact on lactation, and we want to really find out which operation has more impact, which operation has less impact, because in my opinion, it is very important, of course, to have beautiful breasts mm-hmm. and uh, uh, to be very self-esteem. But on the other hand, we have to think about functionality too, and lactation is very important yeah. uh, for children. These are very important newborns. questions, but uh, exactly. how can you manage your time? Because I think that you are working at the clinic, And you are doing also research. Of course, and I'm working on private clinics too, and a lot of things, to be honest. And it is very hard for me, to be honest. So, what I what I realized in the last few years that uh, it is very important to have a note, mm-hmm. which uh, reminds you what you have to do, because a lot of times I'm forgetting things. Unfortunately, if you're working in in five places and you have to do these researches, yeah, it it really steals your time. But I think. This age, which I'm in right now, this is the the age of development when you have to put down the cornerstones. After that, um, you you are running out of energy. You will less have you will you will have less time. So this is this is the time when you have to put in the most effort you can. And after that, of course, I think uh, that will come back. And what is your vision, maybe for the next five or ten years? What you like to achieve? Well, it's a it's a hard question to be honest because uh, I could talk about a lot of things. Of course, I'm, I'm uh, really really hoping that uh, one's life would uh, uh, present me with a wonderful family, of course. Uh, but uh, uh, career wise, yeah. I would say that uh, I would I would really uh, work with this kind of uh, uh, aesthetic uh, gynecological questions, these aesthetic or gynecological surgeries, because I think. Uh, uh, in Hungary in this country uh, there is a great opportunity uh, to to import these kind of operations and to to uh, 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 get it uh, available uh, for the public so that's what i want to do in the next few years to really import every knowledge i can about these operations about this uh, 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 aesthetic surgeries of the genitalia and uh, and uh, and really make it available for the public So you'd like to start something new, but uh, this exactly is not, that's for sure. This is not the only one which is something about this uh, issue. I found that uh, you have another project which is outside of uh, CTM and also partly outside of the university, and this is yes. Dokkit. Yes, exactly. Could you exactly. say oh, some yeah, words about this course, project? Of course. So <coughs> I think it started in 2020 with the, with the COVID situation. Yeah. So uh, the whole whole. Uh, 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 
start of it was the feeling that uh, our generation is uh, feels feels uh, itself pretty well on the online uh, area. So uh, they are scrambling information mostly from the internet. They are watching a lot of videos. So most of the information needs to be online available 24/7 for our generation, in my opinion. And this is the case, especially with uh, with pregnant women, in my opinion, because. Uh, they are pretty much left alone if they cannot reach their doctor. Especially it was like that in a COVID situation. Uh, when the when the doctor couldn't pick up the phone or or, uh, or the doctor was was older, couldn't go and go get into the uh, uh, practice or something like that, uh, they couldn't answer a lot of questions. And these women are, are full of answers. So that's why we came up with the idea that we will uh, make a platform where every information for, uh, for pregnant women are available. And not just pregnant women, everyone who is... Uh, <clears throat> planning to have a family in a shorter period of time. So that's why we, we invented a platform where every information is available. You can ask the doctor and you can, uh, you can, uh, uh, you can watch very nice animated videos about, uh, about uh, every part of the pregnancy from uh, conception until childbirth and even after that uh, uh, through lactation and the first few years of the, years of the child. And I think we did very good with that because uh, these videos are very uh, uh, easily accepted. So it's, it's very nice. These are like uh, cartoon-like videos. All the information uh, can be uh, uh, decoded very easily in this way, in my opinion. Yeah, but uh, it's not uh, easy to to be successful in a, in a different field because it's, it's not about medicine. It's about communication and well, yes. multimedia. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. The lucky thing is that we have a whole team in that. So it's, mm -hmm. it's us, once again, it's, it's a teamwork. So of course, I'm putting in, uh, what I can about, uh, uh what, what I can in this, in this, uh, in this project. Of course, mostly about, uh, medical. Uh, things and medical informations, but we have a whole team in that who is working on, on marketing and who is working in the on the communication part and who is developing, of course, the the site and and so on. So it's a, it's a complete teamwork and it's needed because Walu and I, I can do that, of course. Okay, and when uh, you joined the city, and what did you expect? Well, to be honest, nothing. I was first at first I was really scared. The, the, I, well, the, well, the whole the whole situation was very, very um, uh, unknown for me. It was really a new, new, new field. I, I never, never really, I never have proven myself scientifically. Yeah, I was in the uh, in my in my university years. I was participating in TDK and so on. Mm -hmm. Of course, the but it's very, very different. So it's 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 another league in my opinion. And first I was really scared, especially because everything was so strict. You had to do the test in time and my time management is not always, uh, always perfect. But with time, I realized what's, what's the, what's the point of it? And now I realize why it's easier for us, why it's better for us in, in a group like this or in a, in a society like this. I can, I can, I can easily say, I think it's a, it's a society <coughs> really, that we can really help each other and we are together in this and uh, you can't be the, the best in anything, but you can find the other, you can find who's the best in it and you can uh, hold hands, get through it together. And of course you can benefit from each other's, uh, 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 success, but, uh, attributes each other's attributes. And I think that the TMK is perfect for this, to find out your attributes and, of course, to work in a team like that, to share these attributes with each other. And what do you think? Is it easy to translate the knowledge that we are accumulating and the evidences we are working on? Is it easy to translate into clinical practice? No, that's a good question, because uh, time will find out, in my opinion. So. It, it will be very hard to say uh, the, how useful everything is what we are doing right now, because to be honest, uh, time will tell. But in my opinion, this is the, this is the best approach, uh, what we can do right now, I'm pretty sure. Have you ever uh, <coughs> worked abroad as a doctor? As a doctor, no, but it, at the end of my I, university years, yeah, I was, I was in Switzerland. Oh, okay. I was in Switzerland, in Zurich. I was wonderful to, to, to see something like that because, uh, yeah, well, there are many things are pretty much different, we know. And I was working in a, in a huge hospital. It was like 11 stories high, I guess, in Zurich and uh, a huge with a load of doctors. And it was very interesting for me to, to see something like that. And is the Swiss approach different from the Hungarian one when speak about uh, medicine? Uh, yes, I think the 
of course, the biggest <laughs> biggest difference is of course money. So they are putting a lot more money yeah. in uh, in uh, in medicine. But of course, uh, or in 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 in, uh, in the whole uh, system. But of course, uh, on the other hand, the whole insurance system is pretty different over there. So. I'm not saying that we should do something like that in Hungary because maybe it would be impossible, but maybe we should learn some a few a few, a few things from maybe, that. Maybe maybe the attitude. Should maybe the attitude. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Some things we should. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm not sure which which is uh, 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 interpretable in Hungary, but uh, but I think there are many ways. Now maybe we are making pro- progress in the evidence based medicine. And it is also important. Yes. 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 You're right. Yes. You're right. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you for having this conversation with me. I wish you su- su- success for your private life or your professional life. And thank you for your attendance. Thank you so much. I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you.